Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Edge Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're going to discuss about mouse actions. So using Selenium Python, we're going to see how we can interact mouse actions into a website. So as part of that, I'm taking a example website is IRCTC, so which is used to book the tickets. So I'm going to use this for a couple of navigations. So here you can see when we mouse over, we see some options, right? So we're going to perform these actions using Selenium. So go back to our PyCharm and under pages, I'm going to create one new Python file. Let's say this as actions. Now here, first thing we need to do is from Selenium. So we need to import our web driver, right? So without that, we cannot perform certain actions. So I'm going to simply use a reference called driver just to call a web driver. Under that web driver, we have a class called Chrome. As we are in Selenium 4, we don't need to provide executable path. We can directly call Chrome. So I'm going to simply call website. To call website, we need to use driver.get. And we need to use the URL. So this is the URL. We need to give it here. You can use the get method or navigate method. So both methods works to launch a website. And before that, I'm going to use driver dot maximize a window. So in Selenium Python, it is easier. Just call driver dot maximize window. And like Java, we need to call uh, window again, then handle, then again maximize. So here, after launching a website, we need to go and see the options, which options we need to perform this action. So here you can see mouse hovering on more. You can see a couple of options. So we need to right click and you can use selector hub. So selector hub provides a good handy tool to quickly identify the X paths. So I'm going to simply copy the relate to X path. So you need to install this plugin, then you can utilize all these options again. Now let's say this is called as menu. So menu driver dot find elements. And in this we need to use by. And this is we need to import the by from the commons. So selenium web driver commons. And then after dot x path. So you need to provide x path in the capitals. So if you are using the earlier versions of before 4 point uh, or before 4 version of selenium you need to provide find element find underscore element underscore x path you need to provide but in 4 you need to just provide the find element then by dot x path and x path details right and uh, this is the menu item again we need to provide or we need to click on the sub menu right so we need to go to the next line so I'm going to call sub menu or mention as sub menu driver dot find element and this also we're going to take x path only separated by commas so I'm go back to this website and here you can see ticket counter ticket cancellation so after mouse overing this more you need to click on this option so I'm going to simply go and do a right click or just mouse over and go to selector sub and copy the relate to x path and come back to our pycharm and here you can provide this x path right after that we need to call a simple reference called actions equals action action chain and you need to provide driver reference here and you need to import this actions chain so you can see once you mouse over it, you will see Selenium Web Driver dot action chains. You need to import this, and now as we have a two options to mouse over, and uh, then after we need to perform click. So you can simply call actions dot move to element. So we need to make our mouse pointer to move to our more act more button. So you can simply call menu actually here. As we already mentioned that as a web element so our mouse will go into the more which is a menu and after that using that actions actions dot click 
so in this which we need to perform click to the sub menu so sub menu we need to click action then to perform whole action we need to say that actions class to perform so before if you are not giving this perform so actions will not be performed correctly so we need to provide actions and then after i'm gonna say simply time dot sleep just to hold for two seconds after that driver dot quit right so this is the one we have used for actions so this is the action chain which is responsible to perform your mouse actions and remaining all the general you do your xpath finding and you will say this web elements and you copy those web elements directly here or you can simply move to element then driver dot find element and you can provide the xpath details you can use the both ways but this is the simplest way just right click and go to run actions so maximize i think website launched you can more see the more actions it's supposed to click on an option so it is loading the website right it has performed the action and then after it has quit right so this is a way that you can perform this action using the action chain so i hope this small session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching